Well, that's the start of the NBA season for the 2020-21 season. They won't all be like that. 125 to 99. Those two teams play every day. They <laughs> be nice now. We are being nice. It, it would have been nice to watch Golden State with Klay Thompson and Draymond Green well, joining, definitely joining Steph happen. Curry. No, it's uh, Draymond Green did not play tonight with a foot injury. Klay Thompson out for the year. Steph goes for 20, but it's all Brooklyn, 125 to 99. Uh, please don't show these highlights. Again. Kevin, no, not yet. Kevin Durant goes for 22. Kyrie Irving, 26, in their season opening win over the Golden State Warriors. First of 72 regular season games. Um, and we welcome you, Ernie Johnson, Shaka Claus, the Jet, Chuckster, uh, American Express teammates from the first half. As you get a chance to see Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving playing together. And Kyrie's got 24, 9 out of 13 from the floor, 4 out of 7 from deep. Kevin Durant's got a dozen on 5 of 11. And Brooklyn's led by as many as 21. They're up 63 to 45. And we go from those teammates, the graphic of those teammates, to the video of those teammates, and Mr. O'Neill. Dr. O'Neill. Ernie, me. I'm going to take you to Ebonicsville right now. Mm -hmm. KD and Kyrie Irving look gooder than a mug. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Roll the tape. I don't know what that means, Ernie, but we know what it means. <laughs> Listen, right here, just messing around, getting the ball. KD's resting, but when he gets the ball, he says, you know what? I've been doing this. Rest or rust, don't you ever ask me that question, Ernie. I'm the best player in the world right here. Just get to a spot. The game is real easy. Brooke is playing very well. They're moving the ball. And, you know, when you have a one-two punch, when the one goes off, now it's the two's turn. Kyrie just doing what he's doing right here. Isolate, come out the pick and roll, up, dribble, pull up. And listen, these, uh, Chris Webber said the best. When, when you miss or they get a turnover, they will run and they all share in the ball. But... I know what Chuck's going to say. We're not going to get too excited for, for the first game. However, they do look gooder than a mug. 24 in the first half. Kyrie last year on opening night hit 50. <laughs> uh, gooder than a mug. I'll try, to, heard that in a while. I'll try to remember that. Uh, as, you know, Kenny, usually you talk about food. Yeah. You say it's oh, yeah. Than a mug. yeah, man, that thing was gooder than a mug. Yeah, um, that cake was gooder than a mug. So we look at those two guys, two of the starters for Brooklyn, but this team is deep. This is... I was, I was looking at that team. Take KD off. Take – they made the playoffs last year, right? Yeah. And they added better players. They would have made it again without KD. They had a bunch of players not go to the bubble. Right. They, they, they're, <clears throat> they would make the playoffs oh, they would. again. Okay. I, I, I believe so. And I'm going to go to the board. And I'm going to talk about some of these players. Already? I'm jogging, man. I'm jogging. I'm not going all right. So, it's early. It's early. I see you, Shaq. But the one thing they have, you look at this lineup here. Jeff Green, Levert, Shamit, Prince, and Allen. This is your second unit. Three or four of these guys on most teams would start. Jared Allen could start on 60% of the teams in the NBA. Karis Levert could start on about 80% of the teams. Jeff Green could start on about 50% of the teams in the NBA. So you got a lot of guys who can get it done. But what they do is they get it both on the defensive end and the offensive end, and they run. Run the lanes. Jeff Green here finishing to the basket. Here's a guy who, you know, has been on multiple teams and to play key roles coming off the bench or starting. Again, the defensive end, you got shot blockers. Second units usually don't have shot blocking ability. Then you have Spencer Dinwiddie now going into a role with Shamit, who was a starter for the Clippers at one time. Now you're going back to Allen. Allen goes on Levert, who having 18 points a game. He knocks down the shot. This team, to me, is a team that could do a lot of things and a lot of things well. They might have the best bench in the NBA second unit. They so, might have the best bench. So you got you got Durant with 12, and you got the guy they called Baby Durant. Karis Levert got 12 off the bench in the first half and a 63-45 lead. Chuckster, what's on your mind? Well, that's why I don't understand what those fools down in the Rockets are doing. I'm what? like, give me Allen, Levert, and Dinwiddie. We got a deal. Oh, for James Harden? Yeah. Not in the West. Wait. They're they not good enough to win in the West. Dude. Oh, so They're good enough to win in the East. Oh. They're not good enough to win in the West. Are the Rockets good enough to win in the West? Hell no. They have. They, I mean, get to the playoffs. They won't get to the playoffs with them three guys. Yeah, but they'll be rid of the headache. Okay. So I think they should make the trade. Because I, I, like, I like them three players I mentioned. If you put them with John Wall 
Are they going to, but the Rockets right now are just going to be dissension and annoying behavior all year because it's proven that they're dysfunctional. A man going to show up when he wants to. He's going to play when he wants to, practice when he wants to. So I do the trade. I have, <laughs> I have a thing. See, for me, if you're an ownership or management, I, I don't believe that you trade somebody because they're unhappy. Like, not, unhappy doesn't get you traded. Not when I have a billion dollar organization. How about if they're like, a disruption? How about if they're a disruption? If they're a, a disruption where we lose game. I played with disruptive players and we won. Yeah. You know, and, and we won games, them being disruptive. But if you make being disruptive and we're losing games, then you, I need to figure out what yeah, bring. But I'm not just because you're unhappy. You, yeah. can, you can be happy tomorrow. Yeah, happy but, is a state but, of mind but, that could change overnight. Yeah, but he doesn't want to be there. He doesn't want to be there. He asked for the We training. ain't girlfriend and boyfriend in high school. Hey, hey, oh, I'm out of happy. I'm leaving. No. But just for, I, I, listen, I think you're wrong because they're not going to win. I'm going to say, hey, you know what? Let's break this thing off. And I got three young players going forward. Because James is, is over the